What's going on guys? It's your boy Connor Conflict back with another video and in today's video I'm going to be breaking down the difference between face prisms and silver prisms because um, For beginners I know it could be tough to tell the difference But there is a big difference between the two so on the screen right here We have a base prism Zion Williamson as you can see this is just the normal base prism card There's no extra shine to it besides the, the flash from the picture and then the rain or not the rainbow the silver prism as you can see right up top, you see that little rainbow glare. That's what you get from the, the silver. That's the difference between the two. Also, um, silver prisms are less printed than base cards because obviously the base cards are more produced than the silvers. Um, so there's a big value difference as I'll show in, later on. Um, so that's the two main differences between uh, base and silver. And then I'll show you the value difference and then I'll just give you an overall breakdown for investing in the two. So let's go to sold listings right here. For both of these cards um, so let's see so these are best offers if you're looking to um, find the value of a best offer just go to flipper tools it's right there or is right here yeah flipper tools this is this is how I check it's a uh, an awesome site you can check the uh, best offer prices of these cards but I mean you can get a grasp just looking at this so 680 is around what this card is going for and for the silver it is four grand so there's a huge difference between the two wait actually that's my fault because this one's they're both graded actually all right yeah so these are psa 10s um i'm pretty sure the the ungraded ones i checked it was like i actually i forget honestly it was like a hundred something like 800 but as you can see there's a big big gap between um silver and base but that's because they're more limited and they're better looking cards obviously um, for investing, I think at the end of the day, it just comes down to the, the budget that you have because um, and it's not necessarily the card that you, well, it is the card that you invest in, but um, if the player does well, the prices are going to go up. So if you have more of a budget, then maybe you want to get a silver because there's more room for growth because it's a, in more demand card rather than the base, which there's uh, more production of. Um, so yeah, if you have more money and you're you're feeling like someone's gonna do good, then maybe you want to get their silver because there's more room for growth and more money to be made for you. But at the end of the day, it doesn't fully matter because the player will go up if his performance uh, goes up as well. So I hope you found value in this video. If you did, let me know below uh, in the comments and the like button. Ask any questions you might have. I've been answering every Twitter DM and every YouTube comment. I'll probably make a video going through my Twitter DMs and seeing like what's the most requested questions so I can. I'm just trying to bring value to you guys at the end of the day. That's what it is. So like I said, I hope you found value in this video. And I appreciate you subscribe to the channel. And until maybe later today or tomorrow, I'll see y'all.